We all know rich people are crazy. We all know people commit securities fraud for stupid reasons. The stupidest one I've heard of is one trying to get their kid into a preschool. Let me explain. There's this person named Jack Grubman. He used to be a managing director at Salomon Smith Barney. Sounds fancy, right? And he had a big role in the telecom sector there. Now you might be wondering, how can you commit securities fraud to get your kid into a nursery school? We'll get into why he wants to do this later on. But pretty much, there's a leaked email, and in there he talks about how he upgraded AT&T from a neutral rating to a buy rating because his boss, Sandy Whale, needed the CEO of AT&T's vote to do something for his uh, his own purposes. And then because he did that, his boss, Sandy, was going to make a few calls and get his kid into some nursery school. Let's talk about that nursery school now. The school in question is called 92nd Street Y, which is in New York City on the Upper East Side. It's going to be really funny because my mispronunciation of this school or like the miswording of it probably is going to show my lack of class. There might be some weird pronunciation or way to say it that the people in the know kind of use, but Commoners like us, we'll just say 92nd and Y or 92nd Street Y. It's pretty much harder to get into than Harvard, even though it's for three-year-olds. But why would people want to go here? Well, if you go to this school like this, you get into a nice private school for kindergarten, and that takes you through like the lower, middle, and upper schools, right? And then after you get into one of those really good schools, it's going to be even easier to get into those good high schools. Why do you want to go to those good high schools? Well, it gets you into the Harvards, your Yales, your Stanfords, your Ivy Leagues in general, things of that nature. I'll talk about in a future video why going to those expensive private schools is a scam, but that's a topic for a different day. And it's actually kind of related to this topic here. Pretty much like the only people who get into good colleges are the people who donate to get into them anyway. So if your parents are able to get you into those good high schools, it doesn't really matter because it really won't help for college unless they donate a lot to some colleges or are on the boards of trustees there. Another reason why people want to get into these schools is for something called prestige. It's not even for the kid, it's for the parent because it's kind of like having a Lamborghini, you know, except for rich people, a Lamborghini only costs $200,000. Now, granted, I don't have that amount of spending money to throw on a car, but for them, it's really easy to get. So that's not actually a real status symbol. What's a real status symbol is getting into one of these schools. Again, you could donate to do it. The school says that it doesn't judge based on donations, but there are different ways to do a donation. So this person, Grubman, he could have just sent them over a million dollars and that could be that. And... Maybe they get in, maybe they don't. But he took it one step further. What he did was actually made Citigroup, the bank he was working for at the time, write the check themselves. Anyone can write a check, but if you can make Citibank write a check for you, that shows your true power. Luckily for this person, he kind of solidified his legacy for all of his future uh, descendants because in this article it talks about how the writer is married to someone Allison who was part of the Brearley class of 1970. Brearley is one of those elite schools that you want to get into after you go from that nursery school. It is the creme de la creme of private schools in the city for girls. So for the writer's kids and Allison's kid to get into one of the good preschools, they weren't able to get to 92nd Street and Y. However, they were able to get into a school called All Souls. Let me tell you how they did that. After they realized that their kid didn't get into any preschool, what ended up happening is his wife made a few phone calls and then the very next day, their little girl was accepted into one of those good schools. And that's just how powerful being inside one of these inner circles really is. Granted, they didn't get into the very best preschool, but they got into one of the second choices. So you pretty much just save like over a million dollars and like securities fraud in order to get your kid into like pretty much the same preschool, right? I get it. Instead of the Harvard, it's kind of like the Cornell or something like that, but it's still an Ivy League at the end of the day. Back to Grubman though, because of his actions here, he actually got fined $15 million, but I guess he's okay because he had a net worth of around 75 to 100 million even after paying the fine. So I guess it's not that bad of a deal because hey, maybe education and class is completely priceless. But yeah, $16 million because he had to do the donation and he got fined to get your kid into a preschool. Would you guys do it? Would you guys not? How much money would you need for it to be worth it? If you had like maybe $20 million, maybe it's not worth it. But if you have $100 million, like why not? You know, you kind of secure your legacy forever if that's something that's important to you. But a very interesting case here. I always find this world very, very interesting. But it really goes to show how crazy some rich people are to try to... I don't even know what this is called, man, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I hope to see you guys next time.